Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the project for the Blitzy Creative Team. Today we're going to be making a layout with a bold title. So I've taken this photograph of our little puppy Ellie. She was six weeks old in this picture. I think it was the day that we got her. And I'm using these big alphabet stickers from the DIY shop American Crafts. I believe they're Pebbles DIY shop. And I'm going to use these as a mask to create my title. So I've gone ahead and put them on some wax paper just so I could figure out the placement and everything. I'm going to go through the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy collection, which is my favorite. And it's also available in the Blitzy shop today under one of the events. So you're going to want to check that out. You can get all the embellishments and the paper pads there, which is great. I just love the fun colors and you can use this for so many things and it's just perfect for this layout. So I'm going to get my placement situated here. I'm going to add some embellishments I think I'm going to use. And those glitter hearts I love them. They're from the 12 by 12 foam glitter sheet. And I, when I first got this, I was like, I love it so much, but I'm going to use it so much more if I cut it apart and use it on a bunch of different layouts. So that's what I did. I also tested a different, some different spray mist to see which one I like the best. And I'm going to end up using, using one by October afternoon. So I've taken a T square ruler and I'm just trying to make sure that I get these lined up perfectly straight. I'm normally not that fussy, but since this is going to be as bold as the photograph, it's about the same size. I want to make sure that it's lined up straight. So I'm just going to spray this, this mist over the stickers and it's going to look a hot mess. But once you peel those back, you get a nice crisp bold, even though it's not, you know, a super bright color, but it is a bold title. And I just love multiple uses for one product. And I know that any crafter out there is probably in the same situation I am where you have some alphabet stickers laying around that might not be your favorite or that you're not really sure how to use. They're perfect for this technique. So I've just taken a bunch of different pieces of the pattern paper and cut some layers and I'm going to apply those with my American Crafts adhesive which is one of my favorite adhesives. I love that adhesive because it gives you a little bit of time to move things around if you don't get them in the perfect place right away, which I normally don't, so that's great. Isn't that bow paper so cute? And then the gold vellum. It's little squares, like confetti squares. It's so cute. And then I'm going to take this Scotch foam adhesive, and y'all, if y'all have watched any of my videos before, I almost always put my photographs up on foam adhesive, this one is not super thick. It's it's pretty thin. It's perfect for your photographs because it gives them just a little bit of height, makes them pop a little more off the page because it casts just a tiny shadow because it's raised up off of those pattern papers. I just love the way that it looks and I feel like it. you need to use a lot like this so that it, it protects the whole picture so it doesn't sink anywhere. I've also added a little gold paper clip to the top left-hand corner. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. So for the top and bottom of the layout to give it some grounding, since everything is kind of above center of the layout, I'm going to put a piece of pattern paper that is a golden gold and white foil st diagonal stripe that's a little bit thicker than the one I'm going to add to the top. The top is just a branding strip. I love using the branding strips off of paper. They're on the bottom if you get individual sheets, and I believe they're on the top if you get the paper pad. I use them all the time. They're so much fun. And I really like doing this kind of configuration on a layout where you have a strip at the top and the bottom. So I'm just applying those hearts that I cut from that 12 by 12 foam sheet. And I'm going to put a little bit of that same foam adhesive underneath the heart that's layered on top of the big one so that they're level. And then I cut just a piece of one to have poking up from behind the picture. So I'm also going to do this technique where I don't even I really shouldn't call it a technique this thing where I just kind of fold up the edges of the paper just so that it's not so flat it gives it just a little more life I feel and I really like the way that it looks and I've taken some embellishments from the collection and these gold or not they're not gold these glittery bows are so cute if you're a child of the 90s then you know what the jelly shoes looked like and how much fun they were and how hot they made your feet these bows feel like they're made from the same thing as those jelly shoes. And I'm going to apply it with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher because it comes with some foam adhesive on the back, but I didn't like that you could see that foam. So 
I'm going to use that. And then those acetate stars, I'm going to apply with that Ranger multi matte medium. The acetate stars might be my favorite embellishment from the line because it comes with stars, hearts, and banners, and I just, they're so much fun. You could also attach them with your tiny attacher if you wanted to. And I'm going to use some Lawn Fawn black licorice ink and a roller date stamp just to add the date here. I'll do my journaling on the back. I usually journal on the back of layouts just because I like to put it there. Sometimes I will on the front, but I'm going to stamp that off on a piece of scrap paper first. Whenever I have a new stamp, I like to do that just to make sure that it's ready to go and it's not going to mess up my layout, you know. And the last thing I'm going to add are some of these Teresa Collins gold tile stickers because I want people to know that that six paper clip is there because she's six weeks old. And I know that, but someone flipping through my album may not. So I think it just kind of lets you know why there's a random gold number six on her, on her picture. And I believe that those paper clips come zero through nine and they're really, really cute. So you should definitely check them out. And I think that's pretty much going to finish this layout. I really hope that you take away from this the technique of using some of your alphabet stickers as a mask for some mist or you could watercolor around them. There's so many different things that you can do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please check out the Blitzy store and I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.